This is functionality that I really love within pivot tables to be able to group or aggregate my data. Now, if you're a database person and you um, typically, when you store records at the database level, they're going to be down at the most, the smallest level of detail, so like by day. But in reality, people need to see this data typically summarized up by month or by quarter or by year. Well, that's not a trivial thing to have all those different dimensions at the database level. Um, that's where you get into OLAP and like cubing data. Um, but with the pivot table, it will automatically do that for you like on the fly. And it's, it's so nice and so easy. I just love it. So here we have um, data within our pivot table. We have our client, our product sales, and our date. And I'm going to bring in my field list so you can see exactly what's, what's where. Date in my column area, client in my row area, and product sales, my values, or my data area. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll up or group my my date here because see it's by day. It isn't very useful here, is it? So what I want to do is I want to group this by month and by year. Now, if if I just right click on the date and I choose group, I can now select months. Now remember, okay, so this data is year 2000 through 2008. So Notice that um, if I just selected months, I would have multiple months from different years rolled up into one. So I want to make sure that I choose years as well so now I can differentiate between January of 2000 versus January of 2001 or of 2008. So if I click OK, and ba bam we have month and year, everything's all rolled up for us nice and neat. So now if I want to come in here, I could just real easily just unselect uh, everything and then just choose 2006 and 2008 data. And this is maybe what I'm interested in um, reporting on most of the time, um, but I could always go back to my historical data if I needed to. And now I could easily even um, suppress my 2006, 2007 and look at just 2008 and then 2007 as needed. So I could also come in here let's say I wanted to um, group everything by quarter so I just right clicked and ungrouped the date so let's go ahead and right click and group it again and I'm going to choose quarters now once again I would like I would want to choose year because you don't want multiple quarters rolled up into one. And look at that. That is so nice. I love the functionality. I mean, now everything's rolled up by quarter, by year. So I can just I could literally just keep my pivot table, keep my prior years you know, collapsed or compressed, and then now I could just kind of keep my current years um by quarter here um expanded. Now also here's um, a little trick on doing uh, weeks so if I once again let's go back to group and I can just go ahead and unselect quarters and I'm going to select d days. Actually I'm going to select days and then I'm going to select um, now my number of days I want to be seven so let's use seven for a week so cool so here we go. Now I have everything by week. So I could come in here and let's rearrange these, format these cells, and change the alignment. And let's go ahead and make this like it, uh, how about 45? There. And then, uh, and if I want to auto adjust everything, I just click in my upper left hand um, corner here, and then I just click right between one of the cells and double click. You notice how everything's um, sized accordingly. Yeah, so now everything's by week. So maybe I only want, you know, the weeks in 2008 or something. So I can just select those. There we go. So that's real nice too. So now I have everything by week. You know, especially like if you're doing weekly time or something like that. Or you're tracking your revenue down to the weekly level. Now, Let's do one more thing is now that where I'm going to aggregate the actual characters or the strings or the text in our row area. Maybe I want to group my, um, and a lot of people don't know about this functionality within, Excel, within 
um, pivot tables. But let's say I want to group my clients into different regions. So I'm going to go ahead and regroup all this by, uh, let's do it by quarters and years. Great. And then, uh, yeah, that's cool. And let's come in here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, right here, we currently have our clients. So I'm just going to rename this. And I can rename my columns, right, my labels in the pivot table by just clicking on the cell and just typing in. And we're going to, I was going to get into that a little bit later in the formatting. But uh, let's say we want to aggregate these guys a little bit um, so that we can differentiate between our client regions. So now all we have to do is just click on. Now I can hold down my shift button or drag or, or however I want to do it to select multiple cells. But I could, uh, I'm going to do um, Austin City Limits and the University of Texas. And then and I was holding down my control button to select University of Texas. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to choose group. And notice how we have a new group that's created in here. So now I just rename that group to be the South. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the rest of my guys here. I'm going to group these. Let's just right click and click group. And we're going to call this North. So look at that. Now I have all my clients aggregated. So I could literally collapse these guys where now I have everything by region. So think of the possibilities there. You could do employees. Now you could do it by employee departments, HR, sales, however you wanted to um, aggregate or group your employees, your clients, same thing. Um, so there's all kinds of ways that you can group your data within pivot tables that makes it nice so that you can roll everything up, look at it high level, and then drill into the detail.